What is up everybody and welcome to The Weekend. As a lot of you know, on The Weekend I like to delve into the past of Marvel Contest of Champions, things that are going on and just have some kind of like uh, little dissections, deep dives into various different areas of the game. And this video is no exception because we're going to be talking about something which is part of Marvel Contest of Champions ancient history and that is the 5 versus 5 arena. The 5 versus 5 arena was something that existed from the very early parts of Marvel Contest of Champions going through into the early 2015s. Yes, and it actually existed. As showcased in a video here by, I think this is Mobile Gamer. But yeah, this whole kind of like makeup of how this worked was really interesting. Especially from the point of view, you could actually create more of a bigger synergy grouping, which was literally just uh, a, a mash of like five different champions all set up, which you can see on screen right here. Imagine that powerful synergy grouping, but as well, a more easier process. Yes, it cost a bit with gold when it came to doing it, but it allowed you to get to milestones quicker and also allowed you to get 500 battle chips a time, which you can see right here. Like This is literally how it used to, to be. Oh, look, MM, M, MMX IV. Oh, that's funny there, I see that. Uh, but yeah, like this is how it kind of looked. This is how it worked. And you just go into your fights, you win them, it then goes down, and yeah, it was kind of like, uh, in my opinion, it felt like it was more efficient. But I remember the good old days. Oh, I have a good old days when all the rarest thing you could have were four star champion. And the world in Marvel Contest of Champions, aye, it were bright. I mean, it's still relatively bright right now in game. It's just the biggest problem is you have to contend with potential bots that could be in your arenas as of, as of current. And as well, the problem of, um, well, you know, Kabam changing things every five minutes. The whole reasoning from this video is that I just wanted to put something together that kind of got some feedback from players. Also, I just remembered to put it on dark mode just so that it looks better. Yeah, I did remember to do that. In any case, like, look, I put it down to three different things. And this was whether or not the five star, the five, the five versus five arena situation or setup should return. First of all, yes, I'd like to see the five versus five arena return. No, it would be probably it probably lead to bugs or something, and slash people didn't enjoy it, and maybe or maybe just back for a limited time special one month thing. It looks like it's very much kind of like mixed feedback on that, with probably people more interested in the uh, yeah bring it back as a permanent permanent venture. It's quite cool as well, like digging through some old forum threads and finding some response back from the community. Before we look at the responses here, let's go back to that thread. This thread was taken from 2018, March 2018. Funnily enough, I think it was close to about three years after uh, the arena situation or setup was actually taken away. I actually think I remember the last time it being put in was something to do with like Age of Ultron, which I believe was 2015 to tie in with the film. But still, man, it's, it's kind of like, it is... For me, I personally would like it back. It means setting up teams is a little bit more kind of efficient because you're putting in five different teams. You're benefiting more from synergies and as well the potency of those team breaking in together it was actually relatively cool. But that's just like my opinion and we're going to look at other people's opinion in a minute. So bring back the five versus five arena back with, unfortunately, it was only 59 people voted. Went yes. Um, but as well, a lot of people are unfamiliar with this particular arena and some 13% say no. And I think that really kind of like uh, comes into like what we've got in this 1000 voted uh, on the community tab. And, and people are still kind of like um, interested about this. Back in the past, it seemed to be, yeah, just very, very unusual. And still people today have come to the game in the last couple of years, even those that have come in the last three to four years, even five years, may not sufficiently remember this particular arena. Which I think it's fair to say that this is one of the most rarest arenas there's ever been. I mean, it feels like those year-specific ones, the 2014, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and well, I think that's it when Kabam stopped doing a specific type of arenas, which was disappointing because I really like those arenas. But it did feel that it's like, why was this removed? Maybe this was because of a bug. I can't actually find any forum thread from Kabam to say on the matter, I've also tried to reach out to Kabam to try and like do maybe like an interview thing. Unfortunately, they haven't responded yet. So disappointing because I really would have liked to kind of find out whether or not there's any chance this arena could return. 
But let's again go back to uh, players' feedback. Two Gamer says the game has a lot of issues now. Maybe later I would like to see it. And again, that's a, that's a fair point. The issues that are in game could mean that. And I don't know the reasons for it being removed. Whether or not it was a load on the server um, or some sort of issue that would that would cause it. So yeah, it's better to be safe at the moment to be sorry. That sounds good, says KD. Five versus five, never seen it in MCC or probably missed it. What matters more are the rewards. And will we play anything? We are really greedy bunch out here. I think that's a, good, it's a fair point. I don't think we're, we're greedy, but I think it's the case of like process and quickly getting to the milestones. Like if the milestones were kept the same, but it was a five versus five, it definitely meant something when it comes to a small quality of life improvement. Because what it would theoretically do is whilst you're going into like enter the battle, you're going in putting three like that. You're then doing said fights. Then you have to then go through the, uh, the process of kind of going through all those particular screens. And then you're Again, like having to reload in a team of three. The difference here is you're loading a team of five, you're then going uh, back in to do that, you're doing those five. And then it's a case of going like, right, I have to do the loading screens again. However though, the better thing about this is those synergy potencies, which you can see I've just put in three there and it's clicked off some synergies. Imagine putting in a further two and having some additional synergies. This means that when you get down to the very bottom and you're doing your infinite streaks, imagine if what you're doing is you're taking something that may be a lower rank champion option, to so say that Proxima Midnight there, you're putting it into there right, right there and then it's a case that you're able to add some potency to that rank three five star meaning that it doesn't really require you to worry too much about the problem of the infinite streak being lost or the death match because the potency of that rank three five star is amplified and you're able to uh, to smash a little bit um in those particular interactions like in theory i see that working but uh, you know sometimes these things don't always play out how uh, one might describe it Sub-Zero fans says, I'd like to see the 5 versus 5 arena, hopefully when the game is less buggy. I agree. I'd love to see it as long, uh, long term. Uh, plus, most of the time during arenas, we just look at and select thing time consuming, need better um, systems at least as an option. And that's a, that's a fair point. As we said, the idea of kind of putting in a, a kind of like expansive team means that you'll be able to grab more battle chips in a less loading screen or kind of function. And maybe as I said, the idea of the synergies could help out. Jason says, I'd love to see it return, but maybe as a side quest, five rounds of five arenas style matches with a boss match at the end would be interesting to see how it play out without refreshing champs uh, that again would be relatively interesting i don't know how they do that but maybe that could be something of like a um uh, a kang's team type situation or setup and uh Saturio says i don't know what is the five versus five arena which i did say you know best to watch this video and, and learn about that soviet boris that's a great name says as everyone said here after the bugs are fixed i'd like to see it however i think it would be work better as once a month kind of a thing i need to inform them uh, it's getting so people are prepared for it and that's a good point whether or not instead this is something that's a five versus five arena would be good for say the uh, tier four basic and the catalyst arenas which is a separate argument in its own kind of way because we have got tier 2 alphas in the game and tier 2 alpha is not something that's under the catalyst clash type elements um, of this the same way that the tier 4 basic is as well and this one to a degree but it's got nothing of value and it still costs 10,000 battle chips which is still weird and confusing, but it is what it is. And ending off with some other opinions, and uh, Rhino XP Gamer says, yeah, definitely would be great. I am so tired of doing Arena, maybe it will change my mind. And again, talk about time efficiency, maybe that's something that would break it up or be interesting enough. And as well, just spice it up, because it's been the same for, what, the last uh, six years since the change. And then uh, the Holy Plunger uh, says that I'd like to see it back, but tied to some juicy rewards or a fun side quest just temporary since uh, permanent content seems to break the game so that's just it isn't it this five versus five arena which is still incredibly rare and only was in for a limited time which i personally actually enjoyed the five versus five especially if i was doing a longer grind to have those synergy potency improvements to uh, to the element of creating a team added in something great is it something that then kind of like helped out for infinite streaks sort of 
at least to say that you would be bringing up others that would be less potent without the synergies, it would be definitely be a very ideal situation. It's certainly very fun revisiting this and as well the idea that you're able to, uh, hey, have less loading screens in the part of your grind and get 500 battle chips back a time for every win that you would get. It would just be a case of looking at things when it comes to how it would come back if Command were willing to bring it back. My particular opinion on the matter is that I would love to see this put into things like the Catalyst Clash arenas. If there's a problem with getting them in or say the specificity specificity of getting them in, if that's even a word, uh, then it would be a case of like looking at what arenas are best for them to be put against. Is it a case that Caban would allow this to be more of an, uh, uh, an opportunity to grab milestones, so therefore a better, a more efficient way of uh, getting to units in milestones? And hey, um, about that, I think that's good. But would Caban be more willing to put it into something where, hey, if you want a resource like a tier two alpha, or you want more, or you want tier one alpha, you want tier five basic and stuff, would they be willing to put it into something like an arena like this in order to quick grab or grab more efficiently? Uh, which, look, at the end of the day, we all want quality of life. We all want to save time. And I think the idea of like even putting in uh, an increased multiplier could be very, very helpful for players on the grind. Just the biggest problem is it's just avoiding the fact of adding something that arena bots would uh, quite unfortunately be able to exploit. And that's going to be the big thing that would probably undermine the whole premise of bringing back the five versus five arena. But, you know, I'd love, I would really love to see this being brought back and at least just for like a limited time only. Whilst I'm doing my uh, special side event build, which is something that I've been trying to like work on a little while as an idea for a side event uh, for Marvel Contest of Champions, which I will be submitting at some stage, it would be to look at something like this and say the past, like maybe a, a big epic event that kind of like pinpoints many years of the making with Marvel Contest Champions and some of the various different types of events and stuff that we haven't seen for a while, including the 5 versus 5 arena. But I hope, because a lot of people have asked about this, like what is the 5 versus 5 arena? Hopefully you learn a little bit about the history of Marvel Contest of Champions and indeed have enjoyed this video. Make sure as well to check out some other Marvel Contest of Champions based content located on screen right now. I appreciate you for coming on by to this video and uh, have a lovely weekend whatever you're doing and see you very soon. Bye bye.